Hi everyone. I have another video. This time I am working on a commission. Well, I'm working on the commission, but in between the commission, I'm working on a couple of other pieces. Um, I'm finding that with winter, for some reason, I would think that it would be more dry in my unit, but I find that it's a little bit damp and paints are taking a bit longer to dry. So in between uh, working this big guy, this big one, instead of just standing there with a hair dryer, I it just makes more sense to work on some others, laying the foundation uh, down on a couple of other pieces um, while I'm working on this big one. So uh, as you can see, I've just kind of started the background, laying down a few of um, like the underneath painting. Uh, that all adds to the final piece. Um, is there a, a, a thinking in my head as I'm doing this? Yes, absolutely. Um, I'm practicing the mark making that I'm going to need to do in order to complete the painting that the client wants. So she has picked an earlier one of my painting or an earlier painting of mine from a, a couple of body of works ago i don't know if that totally makes sense it's still morning for me um it was kind of like my graffiti style and she has chosen some colors and uh, picked out a composition that she is keen on so some of that is what i am playing with in my mind as i'm as i'm mentally preparing to complete this big project um, and so this piece here is a 40 by 40. I had um, a client come and purchase a painting and they had seen another one that they were very interested in and loved the composition and the colors. Um, but they realized that when they went home and measured that it was much too large for their space. And so they had let me know that um, they needed a piece that was a uh, approximately 40 by 40 so uh, being the business uh, artist in me decided that I would attempt to try and paint what they wanted or were hoping to have for that spot and um, and this is the piece and so you can I, I will put a link down in my description so you can see the finished project of that one because I uh, again forgot to um, press play or take it off pause um, which really frustrates me that I forget to do that. So you, I, you don't actually see me get right to the end of that painting, but at least you can see kind of the start of it and the finished project, project Sorry, that I think it's important to see how I build up the layers and then see the finished um, artwork. So this little one is a 24 by 20 inch piece. Um, and I also finished this one as well but I didn't again that was captured in the end of the video that I didn't record so that's going to be also in my description uh, the link to that finished piece um, and so here I'm adding I just want you to see how I'm adding my layers adding different colors trying to capture um, composition but also trying to make my eye move around the canvas and the best way that I know how to get my eye to continuously move around the canvas is using value. And, and value is, I'm going to have to learn how to describe this um, in much more technical terms, but value is the lightness and the darkness of a color. And the best way that you can learn value is by using a grayscale. Um, so what you could do to simplify things is as you're painting your pieces um, you take a photo of it with your phone and change it to a grayscale or a black and white photo that gives you the grayscale and and you should be able to see movement in your piece in a black and white photo of it if your eye does not want to travel around that painting then you should be going back in and, and lightening some areas and darkening some areas so that that value is a roadmap for your eye to move around that painting. It's, it's a, it, 
I don't think I can express enough how important value is. Color is certainly important as well, but each color has a value scale to it. And, and um, I have taught uh, a couple of classes uh, and I talked a little bit about the importance of the, of the value scale and understanding that and how to incorporate that into your work and, and how to be able to see that when you're mixing your colors. You need to train your eye. Once, once you get it, you'll be fine and you can just do it off the cuff. But as you're first starting out and playing with color and learning how to paint, um, that's my recommendation to you is practice the value scale, practice your colors, um, going from light to dark in each color. And, and you do that by like, let's say you, let's say you pick a, a blue and you do it by adding just a little bit more um, black or white to darken to lighten. And you can do a whole whole array, array of, um, of different values of that one color. Okay, so what, okay, let's get back to, I'm digressing here about value skill. Who wants to know about value skill? It's all boring stuff. We just want to know how to paint. Um, okay, so I'm back to this big one again, struggling to get it onto my canvas. I can't wait until I have a setup where it's just wall to wall and my paintings are all hanging on a, on a wall and not just this one little tiny easel that is certainly not big enough for this big piece. Um, okay, so I'm adding some, purple i'm trying to change this is the other thing i love to do is i don't like i know i need purple well i'm not going to just mix a purple and throw it onto my canvas what i'm going to do is mix a color that when i overlay it on top of another color it creates the color i want that um is one of my handy dandy little tricks i'm sure tons of artists do that as well but when you're just starting out you may not realize that that is a better way of applying paint onto a canvas um you know so if i want i'm gonna get this wrong now because i'm thinking <laughs> if i want a, a well okay i'm gonna add blue to my canvas but if i want a green i'm gonna overlay with a yellow i'm not gonna just make a green and add it on i will mix it um, on the canvas that's what it means when you mix paint on the canvas it's by layering washes to to change the color alter the color that's already on your canvas um, I've been wanting to remember to say that in all of my videos and I finally said it um, okay so here I'm adding a really yucky yuck, um, ugly color I don't know what that is uh, raw sienna I think it is of, uh, liquidex it's just really an ugly color like i i don't like it at all um but there's a reason i'm adding it i don't know why yet um i i think i chose that color because it's in the vein of the overall body of work and it's it it's a great under painting color um it's just a really dark it's got a very dark value to it as for like if you thought that in terms of being a yellow and she does not want yellow but she wants an orange and so if I were to just add cadmium orange it would be much too light and it wouldn't um, it wouldn't have the substance that I would need it to have so I underpaint first with that raw sienna and then potentially I can add the cadmium orange on top of that um, to get the effect of, of what I want. And I was also practicing the composition again of what this piece needs to look like while it's done. So there is always a method and a reason why I'm doing the things I'm doing. Sometimes I'm just verbally can't express it because I'm one of those ones that uh, I just keep everything in my mind. And um, like if, if I was a baker or, or a a chef or something the recipes would always be in my head and never in a book okay so i'm back to this 40 by 40. that big thick orange has dried and so now i'm adding in some blue and i think i'm going to go in with some gray next and you can see I'm, I'm i used a green a yellow i'm giving you the generic colors um 
So I'm highlighting some of that green that's already on the canvas there because I, I like multiple values of a color and multiple different shades of the same color. That adds really great interest um, and layers as well. I have to be mindful of my time. This is like my fourth time trying to, to voice record over this video. I just get captured by what I'm doing and I, I really enjoy watching my myself paint. Only, I mean, it doesn't matter that it's me. It could be anybody else. I just love watching people paint. Um, so there is two more videos that I do have ready to go. I'm just gonna release them um, periodically throughout the next week. Um, and, and hopefully that, that commission will, will be finally done because that's my goal is to get it done before the holidays. Um, so I now I, you can see I've taken out the white. So that means I'm now I'm working on the composition, trying to carve it away uh, to expose the areas that I want to stand out. Um, I'm kind of making my focal point there at the top right hand corner, that big uh, section of paint that's much more... Um, prominent than, than the right side of the painting. So don't forget to check out the links in the description so that you can see the two finished paintings from this session uh, of me trying to make a YouTube video. And I'm, I, I hope you hear that I'm laughing on the inside. So this video is coming to a close, but I do have, uh, I probably already said it already, but there are two more parts coming out. Um, but if you have any questions or have any suggestions of what you would like to see, by all means, send me a message and I'll do my best to record that for you. Thanks so much.